What? What is this it? This is the year 2022. Yeah. 2022. And we still got people saying the earth is flat. No, we ain't still got them. They're growing. I I think that was more of like a 2018 thing. What's the it? agenda? They're trying to prove that the government's lying to us by well, telling us the earth is duh. right. Duh. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they're the government is they gotta believe you gotta believe in the Illuminati if you believe in the flat Earth. I, guess. I don't know what Illuminati is. I don't Go know. downstairs at Denver. <laughs> bum bum bum. What? No, size. So you don't believe you're not buying into the flat Earth. Have you watched any documentaries? No, on No, I ain't watched no documentaries on it. But hey, look, you know, the Earth is round. So Flat Earth ain't made it to PBS yet. <laughs> it ain't made it to PBS yet. I, I They're self-funded well, right now. No, nah, that's, that's the government. Me. The government ain't going to tell them the truth. They're funded it trying to figure it out, I guess. Okay. I did watch the documentary. Flat so what if it's flat? What, what's, what's the big deal? Yeah. Well, you can fall off, I guess. They, scare the, they can scare you, you're going to fall off. Well, wouldn't they be a wall? Hey. I don't know. <laughs> I've never been to the ends of the Earth. It's always been a circle in my head. Oh, we can fall off. That is if something in physics change. We could yeah. fall yeah. off the yeah. earth? Yeah. Even with it being round. Oh, he's saying if the good Lord gets tired of it. Oh, yeah, and the moon just, gets too far away and we ain't got no gravity yeah, no this, more. We just this, this unseen axis. We're going to go earth, tumbling. This earth is rotating on. That's just like that book I was ever, reading on gravity. Falls off I just that, can't oh, yeah, we're going to fall. All right? This whole planet's going to fall and he burn said. up in space somewhere. Did you hear about Godwin's book? No. My book not. about gravity? No. I just can't put it down. You can't put it Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> that makes my point. Okay, hey, you can't put it down, boy. Funny. Uh -oh. What happens if you drop it? <laughs> it goes up. I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You can't the get rid of it. You can't get rid of it. That's right. You don't know that. Say this: yeah. gravity in my life is undefeated. Mm -hmm. Like that limbo champ that went into the bar. He walked into a bar. He lost. Oh, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> <laughs> God, one, that one wasn't your best. <laughs> I like that one. So, that reminded me. My niece has told me to tell you one, God, one. So, so which, uh, which one of the 50 states is mentioned in the Bible? Oh, don't tell me. Uh, I know it. I don't know. You know Arkansas? It? You're right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Well, Noah, that's where Noah put his bees. What? In the archives. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, Noah looked out the ark and saw. That's, yeah. There, there you go. go. There you go. There you go, Gavin. I got there. That's courtesy of my nieces right there. Good one. Good one. <laughs> he looked out of the ark and saw a lot of water. Yeah. Water. There's a lot of water on the earth. No. For it to be flat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, get it. they wouldn't be. So if we're so a, wouldn't it be hotter? But if we're a dome, we we discussed this thoroughly for about the first fifteen yeah. minutes of sitting in here. Like, what are we sitting on? I don't. I I'm I'm hoping the good Lord's holding us in His hands. Like a table. I, I think we're still floating. I think we're just more of a disc than we are a. Okay. I watched the documentary and was well, very they, confused. Oh, don't they get it around, it, Joe Hunter. Oh, here, axis. catch it. <laughs> Wait, what? Thing is on an axis. That's not what the flat earthers say. Well, hey, I'm just saying what the scientists say. Probably you know, I understand an axle. They're lying. I've got two of them on my pickup, and it's got two tires on each side. Okay? But yeah. We can fly around this earth. So I got a new okay? truck. It ain't got but one axle. But you can't go to the South Pole, I uh, think, is their claim. You can't get a, there from here. That's a lie. Has anybody ever been to the South Pole? Well, of course. I thought, like, what was his name? Edmund Hillary or something like that? Somebody so, went down. I don't know. Did he come back? I don't no, that know. Don't he know. probably fell off. That's it. That's he, what I'm saying. No. Or, no, he didn't fall off. Maybe he got it by penguins. That's right. Hey. God. There's a lot of penguins down there. Nothing else. Right. Has a human ever been? Man, there's a lot of weird Google. Hmm. Oh, it's, he'll tell ain't you. no telling what kind of ad you're about you. to get. Has they a human ever been cloned on Mars, swallowed by a whale? Yes. 
Next. Taxidermied? Taxidermied is on there. Next thing what? you know, you're going to have a sticker on your computer that says yeah. birds aren't real. I uh, know they're not. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, look. They already got that because scientists, our scientists say a quail can't fly. What? Yeah. You didn't know that? Oh, you've told this story. Yeah. But whenever well, you go saying, kick them, they're like, ah! Yeah. I said, they, I need to take them over there to Purvis, Mississippi to a long leaf plantation and show them. Okay. Si, do you think birds are real? <laughs> They're yeah, not. they're real. I eat them all the time. No, those birds are fine. It's the pigeons that aren't real. <laughs> pigeons aren't real? Birds, just in general. See? The government took them all out oh, in It's all drones. They're all dr- That's why they sit on power lines. They're drones. charging. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's battery that's all charger. I'm saying. It makes sense. I like it. Battery charger. Yeah, you can't. You, that's why they you can know? sit on power lines. That's it, boy. Hey. How come them dumb ones keep flying into the windows? <laughs> <laughs> there are, you know, glitches. Yeah. Amen. Glitches in the system. Lord, conspiracy theories. Aren't they grand? Somebody has been to the South Pole. So now I'm like, how? If well, I thought that was your thing, people. Yeah. No. There's a, there's a United States flag on the South Pole. Are you sure? I there was one on the moon, too. Ah, that's <laughs> a good point. Maybe uh, I am a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you just convinced me to to dive into the. Uh, I will say this: that's the problem with documentaries because whoever's making the documentary is gonna. Viewpoint. It's from that, and they will confuse you. Like for like ten minutes, I was like, "Well, that's their job." I'm in. I'm a flat earther. To destroy. You. But then the flat earther thing is so bad. By the end of it, they prove themselves wrong. They did a whole experiment, and they're like, "Uh, that can't be right." And I'm like, "No, that is, that you got yourself, bro." You tricked yourself here. <laughs> like they did a whole thing, and it was like, oh, yep, Earth's round, and they're like, oh no. Well, now we now they had to prove themselves wrong. So they're like a really good defense attorney. No, a like really in a in a court bad oh. one, I guess. But they had you though. You have you have reasonable doubt. Oh, for just a minute, I was See? like, whoa, what if they're on to something? But then I was like, nah. Them, them, them some people that get boys off on murder charges and stuff because they're good at painting a picture that ain't there. Yeah, yep. that's it. That's the one. That's why I don't trust documentaries anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to think about oh. it. Somebody's paying for it, and it's the per- people that are want to prove their point. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's not really a documentary. It's a it's story. A, it's a it's story. Advertising. It's their viewpoint of what so, really happened. No, no. That's yeah, the cause same I, thing with theories. Our scientists come up with theories about stuff. Okay, but then when they look at the 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 evidence that theory will not hold water. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it does. Okay. I want to watch Carl Malone's version of The Last Dance. Because that was just Michael Jordan talking good about himself. <laughs> I want to hear people that didn't like him talk about him. That'd be more interesting. I thought you were talking about Tom Petty's Mary J's Last Dance. Who? Did Tom Petty have a documentary? Uh, no, he just had a song. Mary last Jane's Dance last Mary Dance. Dance. Right. Mary I don't know Jane's that one. Last Dance. I just watched the Chicago Bulls one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song? <laughs> yeah, it's a song. You've heard that song a million times. Probably a million times, now. J.D. A million? There's no way you haven't. That's right. You have not got Tom Petty. If you have, we're going to have to... Yeah. Uh, Seriously, question your continuation on this podcast. That's right. That's right. Th- that may be grounds for dismissal. Right. Creepy right. looking video, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, yeah, it's kind of weird, like Alice in Wonderland kind of stuff. What? Oh, yeah. Her name was yeah. Alice. Rabbit, rabbit down a rabbit's hole, all this other stuff, okay? Yeah. Last dance with Mary Jane, one more time to kill the pain. I have no That's idea right. what we're talking about. I just Uh-oh. don't know. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm out. Good. Freaking he, 90s he ain't there, Bill. He came out in 1993. Hey. Why does this, because this doesn't, okay, I'm hearing what you're saying, and I'm catching on what this song's about, and it says the genre of this song is alternative, pop, rock, and children's music. This doesn't sound like a children's song at all. Why not? I don't, it just doesn't seem like Yeah, it is. The flower children. (laughs) Oh, boy. You are a product of the 60s, (laughs) sir. Well, I'm from the 60s, but I ain't a flower child. Is that what they called those people? I don't, I you know what? You know what those I, people I ended up? Flat differ. earthers. I beg to differ. What? Judging by your shirt and your hat, you're exactly a flower child. <laughs> well, hey, now that you brought that up. <laughs> FlowerGeneral.com slash outdoors. I am doing a new project, okay? 
with I, flour. I have become the goodwill ambassador of flowergeneral.com. Slash outdoors? Uh, flower, hey, can I get flower. some discount flour? Hey, next, a week You'll from... you have to talk to the owner of the joint for that. Hey, a week from today is our anniversary. Can you send some goodwill to my wife? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like this <laughs> idea. Oh, you can order some. Now, can I use nominal fee? Oh, do I get to use like Uncle Side Twenty for twenty no, percent? Right. Hey. What the heck? Are you, what are you good for then? Hey. Fifty. Hey. Uncle Side. Make 50. your life better with a beautiful flower and some wisdom for God, from God's word. Oh, folks, I wish this was our first commercial, but it's <laughs> not. Let's go there right now. Though we'll be back right after this. Godwin, you know what I had last night? Mm, what? Yeah. A little bit of that moink. Oh, moink bragger. Uh, hamburger meat. You know what I had last week? I finally, I forgot about them, but they were still good. I had them center cut poke chops. Uh-oh. They are. Lord have mercy. I had my, I had my big Dave. I got him that birthday gift of a Moink subscription and he, mm-hmm. he cooked burgers with Moink bacon on top last mm-hmm. night. Oh. That's the best birthday gift you can give somebody. You get it for them. They cook it for you. It's the easiest thing ever. It's a win-win situation. Win, win, win. Yeah, that ain't bad if you can pay somebody to cook you dinner. Our friends over at Moink deliver grass-fed and grass-finished beef and lamb, pastured pork and chicken, and sustainable wild-caught Alaskan salmon straight to your door. Straight it's there. that easy. Right and it is that good. Moink farmers farm like our grandparents did, and as a result, Moink meat tastes like it should because, let's face it, the family farm just does it better. The Moink difference is a difference you can taste, and you can feel good knowing you're helping family farms stay financially independent, too. You choose the meat delivered in every box. If you want your steak with a handle, they got you. Mm-hmm. That's what Godwin's going for. Chicken bread. If you're a chicken eater, like George Washington was, he can get you that. All chicken eaters. Pork chops. You like pork? I do. Who doesn't? Mm-hmm. My get wife them. even likes that salmon. She puts it on a salad. Not I don't trust me. pink yeah. fish, but look, hey, that's for you. They that's got fine. it. I, I'm totally cool with it. Pink fish ain't my deal. The cool thing is you can cancel any time. We use it all the time. In fact, I'm just about out. Holla at your boy. Holla at no. your boy. Run it back, baby. <laughs> Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary called Moink's Bacon the best bacon he's ever tasted, and Ring Doorbell founder Jamie Siminoff jumped at the chance to invest in Moink. They guarantee you're going to say, oink, oink, I'm just so happy I got Moinked. And we tend to agree with that statement. Oh, yeah. It's so, one. Absolutely. You can help keep American farming going by signing up at moinkbox.com slash duck right now, and listeners to this show get free F-R-E-E, filet mignon in every order for a year. That's one year of the best filet mignon you'll ever taste, but for a limited time, spelled M-O-I-N-K box.com slash duck. That's moinkbox.com slash duck. We're back. And ladies and gentlemen, during the break, we pulled it up. I have heard that he song. Heard. If somebody would have gone, it's, you know, it's the one where he's like, him, 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 him. But then you might have thought it was something by hey. Bob Dylan. I'm I was like, oh, that is that song. So, yeah, I've heard it. I just don't know the words. It's good. Does anybody know the words? It's a good song. Yeah. Lyrics.com. Lyrics.com is the words. Lyrics.com, boys. Hey. I'm sure if you put on, like, Spotify and click on lyrics, it'll pop up. Oh, speaking of that, everybody watch. Uh... Nope. American Idol last night? Are you kidding me what right now? Say? Is that what you, you just asked that? us? What did he say? No! American Idol. That's still a thing? Did yeah, it's still a thing. Did you watch American? Yes, I did. And hey, and I chose correctly <laughs> on who was going to win it. You voted for him? No. Did you text in your vote? vote? No, I didn't oh. vote. Wait, no, it was like the finale? Yeah. Three hours. Four hours. You watched American three Idol hours. for three, three, hours, three hours. hours last night? Without seven, sleeping? Seven, eight, nine, no. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson. It's a three hour. The Who? Three hour finale. And you watched it all? Yeah, I watched it all. It was great. Who, well, tell us. Okay. Who won? Well, hey, Noah. Is he any good? Between him and Hunter Girl. Uh. And I looked at it and I said, well, Hunter Girl is a really a professional artist, okay, with songwriting, and she's very. Uh, calm on stage she's got she's got it all she's very talented so i said well okay noah is was a little younger than her too so i said hey did he have a boat huh did he have a boat hey a boat no but he may have a song later about a boat hey yeah he's a good artist too is he what kind of is he country country i've noticed american idol is taking a strong term into Poppy country music. I about to say, but country ain't country. 
can we go not, down that road? Not like it, yeah, not like it used to be. No, country music, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I, if you if you listen to a country song backwards, would your wife come back and your dog come mm-hmm. back to life? And well, today they don't even sing about that. Oh, they don't. No, now it's no. just you know cold beer, tan lines, short skirts, and God bless the troops. Yeah, and that's and, all. There, yeah. there's your country music in 2020. And I, I do say God bless the troops. People, people driving tractors, they wouldn't even know how to put it in drive. Then it's I, a problem. Just, then you, there's songs about just hey, buy some dirt. What? Yeah, buy dirt. That's Luke Bryan's yeah. song. Buy dirt. Buy now dirt. see, he he right. buy dirt. Well, that's, that's what he's done. Well, hey, there you go. He just bought him a place. You buy you a bunch of land. That's that's a pretty buy good investment, dirt, boys. Hey. Yeah. I just don't understand. Buy it what now because it ain't gonna get any cheaper. When it, whatever happened to like George Strait, uh, Taylor Swift? He still, he still is it, you blame you blame T Swift. Go, you have the floor, Martin. No, nah, I'm Take mean, a shot at Taylor Swift. She's listening. <laughs> well, good. Maybe she'll write a song about me. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can be something some someday. Cows to rope. Yeah, man, That's what happened. Something. Yeah. He got the roping. No, nah, I don't know. I think they just, I mean, good on country music for realizing there was a bigger audience than what they had. So they, they adapted to the changing landscape. Just not my thing. No. More. I mean, you know. All of the songs sound like uh, one of my favorite songs, Parked Out by the Lake. 80 by, Miles from Santa Fe. By Dean Summerwind. Look it up. It's a great song. Yeah. And that is country music in a nutshell. Parked, parked Out by the Lake? Yeah. 80 Miles from Santa Fe. Yeah. They yeah. They repeat the chorus a lot. I like, I can't even remember his name now. I'm, he sang a song about bass fishing. Bass fishing? Yeah. Luke Bryan? No, I ain't Luke Bryan. Oh. Bill Dance. Yeah. No. Fishing for a living. He plays the guitar real good. He's real good with guitar. Oh, it's a famous singer that plays the guitar real good. We've oh, no. narrowed it down oh, here. Him. Oh, Tom no, Petty. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I can't and think. Kurt Cobain. I can't think. I don't think Kurt Cobain ever played about bass fishing. <laughs> well, he, he's talking about you know because he's out on the lake. Oh, Brad Paisley. Brad Paisley. That's it. Paisley. I'm gonna miss her. Yeah. And what I is love, that? I love that song has said. to do with fishing. Tell me, tell me, mm-hmm. Hold it. I got a bite. Yeah, I'm sure gonna miss that girl. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that one. Well, I ain't heard it. That's a great song. He talking about duck blinds, all this good stuff. No, I think boys. they just though saw a bigger market and hey, said, yeah, "Let's go hey, for it. Let's go. go for the money, boys." I believe they call it stadium country music. Is it? Maybe. No. I'm more of like a stadium country, like a oh brother, where art thou? Country music kind of guy. Stadium saw bro. Yeah, that's a great song. Yeah, yeah. money for. Singing in a can. That's right. Down there in Tishomingo. Singing in a can, boys. Geographic might run up on the man soggy man bottom up. boys. Yeah. See, the soggy bottom boys is country music. That's, that's, that's country. bluegrass. That's it. Hey. Well, that's country. That's where all the good musicians are. Or like are. Charlie Crockett is country music. <laughs> Charlie Crockett's legit. <laughs> yeah. Look him up, son of Davy. Yeah, but I mean, like, Stapleton is still good. He yeah, stays, that's he, con- that is country he music. He stays to the roots. Eric Church, for the most part. He, I don't know. Yep. He got outside of it a little bit, but then he went back. He Oh, he came back in? Oh, yeah. He, I don't listen yep. to enough music. He dove back in. See, because at one point, we all got phones that go straight to our vehicles, mm-hmm. and it, then you don't you don't need the radio, because the radio would play songs. You, no, I don't care what station you listen to. A song's coming on you don't like. Yeah. Even if it's Christian music. One of them songs, you're like, eh, I get it. I mean, I love Jesus, but this song, eh. It's, yeah. But with your phone, you just get to pick all the songs. But So I never hear new music anymore. Because I just listen to what I like. There you go. Childish Gambino. No. You off that bag? No, that's sinful. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. That's funny. That was younger, younger days. Race. Younger Johnny D. Younger Johnny D. I used to uh, listen to some rap music. It's all still in my head, and I wish I it wasn't still there. That's weird. I listen, you know. But Hey, uh, I, I look at rap music like country music. It all ended in the nineties, man. Like, that's true. I mean, it just that's where it, that's where it passed away and bred something new. So it evolved, as you would say. It evolved oh, for sure. You know. And it's still evolving. Um, what about you, Si? Hey. What are you listening to today? I'm listening to all of it. Okay. I ain't much on all rap. of it. Fun I ain't, fact I ain't about Si. Si, what's your favorite song? Favorite song? Oh, good grief! There's too many of them. What's it? Oh, Duct Tape Man uh, by Uncle Sam. A lot of uh, a lot of Garth Brooks songs. Aren't you a big uh, you're a big Golden Earring fan though? Aren't well, you? Well, no, no. Well, I don't know. Radar Love. 
Oh, rain all loves a good one. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good jam. Do I know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Megan Reed. Boom, 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 boom. I like that. So I used to get so well, fired up. I go up. back to all the greats. Okay, George Jones, Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, all of them guys. Johnny C. You want to know what one of the greatest songs ever is? What is it? Uh, Brandy by Looking Glass. That's a jam. Brandy by Looking Glass. Yeah. Never heard. Of yes, you have. We're gonna play it in the next right, break, right, and you're gonna. Right, go ahead, right. Yeah, you're gonna go. Oh, that is a good song. I don't know if I've ever heard that. Oh, and all the dudes look like Cy from 1972. They got long hair and beards. Well, it's no, great. no. Back in the 60s. Okay. That's when your best music came out. Why is that? Led oh, Zeppelin. It did. It's what every generation says. Oh, no. Uh, 90s, no. yeah. I remember Justin Timberlake before I mean, no, no, because, cool. hey, you, when you, yeah, and then you move forward, come to the 70s. Yeah. It's some good music in Rush. the 70s. Oh, there's Godwin's jam. Yeah. God with the Rush, Rush man. Yeah, in the uh, 80s. I believe that's three yeah. people making all that racket. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey. They was the smallest orchestra in the world. Who's that? <laughs> Rush. Rush? Uh, one of the, hey, look, I'm going to tell you one of the best things you can do in life. What's that? Is get in the truck with John Goblin. Throw on some Rush? Rush greatest hits. Start at number one. And just watch him play the air drums Santa the Day. whole way. It is one of the best things you can. If we ever give any experience away on this duck call room, <laughs> that needs to be one of them. air drumming. A rush ride with Godwin. You want to go fishing with It'll him. It'll change your life. But you really just want to ride with him while he listens to Rush. Yeah, once you get to the boat ramp, turn around and go home. Yeah. I mean, just listen to Rush the whole yeah, don't way. Even, don't even go fishing. He'll be. He yeah. knows every drum beat on that thing. Do you really? Pretty much. <laughs> yes, he does. Well, you're a rush for Pretty fanatic. much. Yeah. They didn't have fans. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm serious. No, no, they didn't. They were the original Tommy John. Oh, no, 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 no. They didn't. Yeah. They, they, you know. Yeah. They had some, I mean, die hard. Now all our kids are Rush fans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joanna listened to them. Does her husband? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he listened to me. She listened to it at home. I don't know about that. No. He might. <laughs> oh man where are we gonna go next let's find out when we get there right we'll be this. back right after we'll back. i'm gonna play brandy from here to some brandy 93 percent of your life is spent indoors 92 for si he's a little more outdoorsy than me yeah. but he sleeps a lot at 85 about 85. <laughs> we talking about your age? No, but anyway. <laughs> so many of our favorite moments are outdoors. The fresh air, the feeling of peace. Since warmer weather is here, let's make the most of it with Outer. The new outdoor furniture company with purposely designed furniture to get you outdoors more. I said let's I, knock that 93 to 93. Get out, get back I was out, out on, on my floor. back porch reading emails last night. That made, made, you want to be outside. outside. That's exactly right. Outer makes the world's most beautiful, comfortable, innovative, and high-quality outdoor furniture, all from sustainable materials, and is the only outdoor furniture with a patented built-in cover to make protecting it effortless. Effortless. That means your stuff ain't gonna turn green That's during the springtime. From teak chairs to fire pit tables, everything Outer makes has the look and feel of what you'd expect at a five-star resort for less than you'd pay at a big box store for something that just won't last. Amen to that. Outer's better in every way because they've spent years perfecting outdoor products with stunning modular designs to customize your space, life-proof material with nano coating that's water mold, bleach, and stain resistant, over 1,000 neighborhood showrooms across the country to see the outer difference in person and triple memory foam cushions that are comfier than most indoor sofas. Outer's patented built-in outer shell cover protects your furniture from rain and dew. It's the how did no one think of this before invention that made Shark Tank's Lori Griner and Mr. Wonderful fight to invest in our friends over at Outer. Look, over. if you get the chance, go check out their virtual showroom. It is actually really cool. I like You're virtual things. I know. It's fun. You can you can have the outdoor patio of your dreams if you want to. Right you there can, on your computer. And you just move stuff around. Add to cart, baby. Way easier than doing it yourself. So it really is great looking furniture. Look, they. I don't know what you want, but they got it. They like, got everything. You want chair, you want a little lounger, you want couch. You know, yeah. If you like spending your time outside under a roof, that's cool. They got you. If you outside by your fire pit, that's cool. If you out there with your pit boss, go do it. You just have to go see it. Go to liveouter.com slash duck to see for yourself. 
The furniture comes with best-in-class warranties like 10 years for aluminum line and two-week free trial and free return. See the difference at liveouter.com slash duck. Plus, for a limited time, get $300 off and free shipping. This is Outer's best offer anywhere, only available to podcast listeners, and only for a limited time. Get $300 off and free shipping at liveouter.com slash duck. Liveouter.com slash duck. Terms and conditions. Hey, you know what I'm on past Saturday? What I'm going to drive by? Bucky's. Bucky's, baby. Eat a sandwich from me, guy. I will. I'll get baby. two of them. Do yourself a favor and don't wear a Duck Commander shirt. Yeah, this no. time. Maybe you can get in and out. Spend $96 for me, just get on that, anything. Get that little bag of Dots pretzels. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. yep. I had some Dots yesterday pretzels. I'm what? out and do and a cup of coffee. Oh, I had to go. And I'll drive on down the plot. You going to Florida? You betcha. You. you going on vacation? Yep. Toes in the sand? Toes in the sand, baby. Toes Which Florida? Are you going to Alabama or Florida? No, I'm going to Florida. You going to All the way? I'm going on down a little bit. Oh. Well, you don't need to say that with people. You know, it's your vacation. No. Yeah. Oh, where are you going to be? <laughs> Over. <laughs> you going to be on 30A? No. Oh, he, <laughs> he going to the – he going – he ain't going to the Redneck Riviera. He's going to Florida, Florida. He's going to be down there with Luke Bryan and him. I'm going to the Redneck part of – well, not really. There, It is much more Redneck – Bunch of chickens. Right, right beside Alabama than it is Bunch Florida. Of chickens Bunch of chickens. Bunch of chickens. You going to Key West? I didn't say that. That's a long way from here. There's a bunch of chickens in Key West. I know. You can't mess with them either. No. Huh? I think they're like the state. Bird I take a so. picture of one in a Kentucky Fried Chicken parking lot drive through. <laughs> si, are you going to the beach this summer? No. Why not? Oh, why should I go? <laughs> why people, wouldn't you? People beach. like the beach. Look, the, beach. the breeze. Hey. Goblin loves it. Yeah, out, out under an umbrella. And a bunch of salt water. Can't Martin you, got married on the beach. Catch That's how much he likes it. <laughs> Martin got married on the bay, but you could see the beach. You could smell it. Would you get married in Alabama or Florida? Roll Tide. See? Roll That's tide. what I'm saying. It's yeah. more redneck on the Alabama yeah. side. They Especially if by. you go down that highway. It was on the line. What's you talking about? What's that called? Fort Wal- Fort, Fort Morgan. Was Fort on Morgan? The Florida Georgia yeah. line. I, I went to the end of Fort Morgan one time and felt like I was on the Washtenaw River the whole time. Yeah. I had a good time, but that didn't feel like the beach. No. That's where the natural light flows like wine. Yeah, That's it was it right. was a uh, it was <laughs> very <laughs> redneckish. Gary, redneckish. I like that place though. Yeah, I'm, I, go, I'm going to Navarre this year. Navarre. I've been there. You've been there. That's a good one. Mm. That's a good little part of the world, isn't it? It's too many humans. Too, well, yeah, it's a lot of humans. They need like a toll booth. Weed them out. Well, yeah, stay shorter and then just, you know, less people at a time, but you still get the same amount of people through there. Limit it like three days. You don't need more than three days there. Like three, I four days on the beach, you don't need more than that. I would agree with Nobody you. Nobody needs you more than that. No, really, you don't. But and then, I'm going to stay longer than that. He's going to stay longer. Well, it might rain, you know. There is a lot of people. Well, how did that happen? Because when we were kids, there wasn't that many people there. It didn't seem like it. But and I that, guess there's that many more humans on this earth. You going to surf fish? You betcha. I'm going to catch me some of them sand fleas. Sand fleas? Uh-oh. I'm going to tell Joe Hannah, look, there's Big a, sand fleas. We're going to have a competition. Who can catch the most fleas? sand fleas? That's right. We'll get all of us in there. I didn't even we'll know that. We'll have a bucket full for yeah, I didn't even know that. And I, then watched I, it, I watched it and it showed them. Mm-hmm. Tide come in and when it went out. Did you eat them? They was everywhere. No, no you used for bait. Put them on a hook. Yeah, oh. used for you bait. You chunk them out there. Well, you walk out there as far as you can walk. Then you throw, you, and then you click your reel, and you walk back. Stick it in the sand. Stick it in the sand, boy. I'm trying that. I got a catfish rod I'm going to take. And that I'm Better gonna take a up. big one. Oh, it's going to be a big one. Because everything in the ocean fights like you wouldn't right. believe. That's right. And they got big teeth, too, J.D. Yep. Everything. Big I've teeth. always wanted to go fishing at the beach. I'm scared I'm going to catch a human, but I'm going to try it. I do it at nighttime. You catch more. Or or first thing in the morning. 
Yep. That's when you see like them fish running bait. There ain't nobody getting to the beach till about 10 or 11 anyway. See, that's uh, kind of my thing when I go to the beach. Now. All them people that are down there, you like wake up and you go look out there and there's people down there. I'm like, what y'all doing? This is a vacation. No, I'm the do busters. I'm there to watch the sunrise. Mm -hmm. You can do that from the condo. He watches the sunrise. Yeah. Watch sunrise and you watch fish chase bait all the way down the beach. Then you realize, hmm, I, I shouldn't be in that water. Uh -uh. Yeah. When you see how much bait is in that water before the humans get involved, you're like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And and the big the big bait chasers. Yeah. Are out there. Something's always mm -hmm. busted. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, big bait chasers are out there. My they toe, got, my toe kind of looked like a little minner. You know. Well, <laughs> That's a big minner. <laughs> Yeah, I got a big toe. Especially if you look at the corns on top of them. Mm. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I'm just glad my feet finally healed. I went fishing in flip flops first time about a week ago. Mm. Buddy. Burn them? Oh. Did I burn them? Yeah. Top of Do a crisp. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Voice. I had a sunburn yesterday. It was one of them cloudy day sunburns. Oh, no. Yep. Bad news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, that one that you don't, the one you don't even realize yep. you get. That ain't burning. Mm. I don't need no suntan lotion. Yeah. It ain't hot. That sun come out about five minutes, and then go back five, go back. Next thing you know, you just blistered. You're like, hmm, okay, mm -hmm. all right, got it. You're good now. You yeah. got that initial burn. You yeah, now they out. peeling. They just itch like crazy. Yeah. So if you see me scratching my feet, mind your business. Yeah. <laughs> How was Venice? And oh no, them trout were just you know we should have just stayed on, <clears throat> but I'm glad we didn't since Stone cleaned all the fish, mm -hmm. and he had a two gallon uh, bag. Just slam full of fillet. And y'all still didn't bring me one of them chickens. Uh, oh, well, hey, look, we had too much going on. The coolest thing was. Got to drive we... right by it. Oh, no, no. The coolest yeah. thing was. Can't get light. there without red, passing red it. Oh, no, no. The coolest thing, it's though. The red light, though. We went to a plantation to eat. Just supper. ignored you. Okay. I know. There he knows he did of, wrong. There was a bunch of ponds on this plantation where this restaurant was. He's still going. So we had all the carcasses of the trout. That song clean. Mm -hmm. And when we walked up to these ponds, Josh is grabbing them out of the big, uh, like a laundry basket, you know, and feeding these big alligators. And I'm. Mean, <laughs> What's that got to do with not bringing me no chicken? Well, hey, I'm telling you, that was, the fun, the, that was the fun part. He was too he busy. Walked, when Deflecting. he walked up that pond. Boy, he oh, got Robertson all around him, don't oh, he? No, look no, at look. it. <laughs> there was alligators Deflection. everywhere. He's still telling us. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was alligators everywhere. It was about eight or ten of them showed up on this side. Then he went over here to this other one, and I was walking down toward the water, and it's got the, the duck uh, weed, the gawal like, the mm -hmm. little with seed on it. Yeah. It's right I'm, by that chicken I'm looking store. down yeah. in the water in this cupboard, okay, and I don't see nothing. And about that time, Josh walks up with his carcass in his hand of a trout and walks down there and just a big, about 11-footer comes out. And that excited you so oh, no, much? No, no, I no. Walk, I walked way back up the bank. And you forgot the chicken because you were scared? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah, I was scared. Hey, I'm, we're surrounded by alligators, huh? Still. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's okay. You can say you forgot the chicken. Well, That's hey, fine. look, we did forget the chicken. <laughs> That's fine. You didn't have to go through that story to oh, tell no, me you yeah, forgot the chicken. Too, that was a fine Just story. wear it like a man, Sal. That was a chicken. good story. I'll give it No, man. that's going to be a good video for Duck Commander to run. So we got alligators, we got trout, we got uh, I got no, no chicken, though. Yeah, and it only cost me $1,000. We didn't catch any redfish. They no they redfish. Isn't that the whole reason you went down there? Yeah. No, I mean, hey, no, no redfish, no chicken. No redfish. If you'd have stopped and got them chicken... You'd have caught you some redfish. No, no. That's that, karma. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. Oh, That's chicken karma. Ain't, chicken karma. ain't got nothing to do with it, boys. That's karma. All right, we'll be back right after this. Boy, it was hot this past weekend. I mean, uh, it was so hot, all my ice cubes was melting. All your ice cubes were melting. That's exactly right, but it's a good thing I was staying frosty where it counts with the brand new Tommy John underwear. So. That is your there you problem, go. sir. Huh? His ice Comfort cubes. In, boys. I'm si, pretty. how was fishing in them Tommy John? All right. Great. Free. That's right. Wasn't That's it? Freeing cool. experience. Cool, he said. Yeah. Cool. Comfortable. Size right. Comfortable. You know why? Because when you wear Tommy John, you are that much cooler, so you can do everything better thanks to breathable lightweight fabric with four times the stretch Woo! of competing brands. 
And the older you get, the more stretch you need. I'm just here to tell you. That's that's just because you don't stretch as good, so you need your draws too. You With draw. dozens of comfort innovations, Tommy John will keep you looking and feeling cool all season long, from lounging at home to summertime fun on the water. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. What do they have, Si? They got fanatics, boys. That's exactly right. And with over 17 million pairs sold, people love their Tommy John underwear and loungewear. Look. It doesn't just make you feel cooler. You actually are cooler. Stay up to seven degrees cooler than cotton in Tommy John's Apollo underwear. Apollo, like the spaceship. The one that went to the moon, son. But moon, plus, moon. there's no risk because you're covered with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free. Guarantee. Cy loves them and so will you. Shop TommyJohn.com slash duck right now for 20% off your first order. Get 20% off right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash Duck Seasite for details. Uh, for details, boys. How come you don't see pigs and trees? How come don't you know? don't see pigs and trees? Because they're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Because uh, they're g- pigs and... Hey. I don't get it. Why you can't you see pigs in trees? That's right. They're good at it. Because they're good at it. They're good at it. You don't see them. They're camouflaged. They know what they're doing. I don't get it. You don't back, get in, it. back in 10. <laughs> you don't get it. Did you find it, Martin? No. Nope. I'm out. He's out, boy. I can't out. remember. It, was actually, remember it, it made was. me It made me giggle. But it made, I him, just, giggle, made him giggle. And he can't find it. Mm-mm. Yeah. It's going to make us get All right, why did the Scarecrow get an award, Godwin? Because he was outstanding in his field. Ah! He was outstanding in his field. Jacob from East Texas sent that one in. Got him. You got him, boys. Oh. Any hoosers. Dad jokes, aren't they fun? They're all. Why is there blood on the plow and and rain on the Scarecrow? I don't know. Blood on the plow and rain on the scarecrow. Right. I know it's a song. I haven't heard this. One. That's a song. I know it's a song. <laughs> By uh, is it a joke? No. Oh, there's, oh, there's no punchline. Oh, ain't no punchline. But I got your attention. Just like him, chicken. <laughs> he got his attention. Yeah. <laughs> Just like him, dang chicken. Oh. Dang chicken. Melody Camp. That's who sung the song. We got a lot of emails, by the way, of people that are coming here and asking what to do and. What to do? Where to stay. In like, West Monroe? What to do about what? What are they coming here for? Well, like Kenny. Yeah, Big Kenny. Big Kenny. I don't know if he's big or not. Hey, guys, coming through the area in a week. Need a hotel. What's the best hotel in West Monroe? I don't stay at hotels in West Monroe. Size house. Airbnb. Look it up. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Oh, he's <laughs> kidding. But, but, I mean, I, like, we get a lot of questions room. like that, but I don't – I would. I mean, I, I've never stayed at a hotel here. We got a Marriott. The, here, newest, one, the newest ones are all by the Ike. So, all right. If you're, looking, by the Ike. If you're looking for a new – West Monroe. Marriott. Between Thomas Road and Wells Road. That's right. Yeah. Between Thomas Road. But I, just, and I was Wells like, Road. huh? South side of that internet. They were, know. they were asking for my advice on what to do. I'd say keep driving. <laughs> Go somewhere exciting. Go we some- had a couple on their honeymoon here like a week ago. Go somewhere till you hit a Bucky's and stop there. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. Go out that well. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please email Bucky's info and tell them they need That's to right. put Move one. Move down on here in Louisiana. Downing Pines exit in West Monroe, Louisiana is the greatest place for a Bucky's to ever exist. Bucky's. Flood their email. I'm going to get this done with the help of get it done, boy. The people that listen to this podcast, do it now. Uh, Pause this podcast. Pull up the email. I, I'm. You know what? I'm going to look up the email. He's going to look the email. Right looking now, up, boy. I'm looking up Bucky's in general inbox. We're filling it up. Filling it, boy. Everybody, everybody, choose. I am oh. using this podcast for the greater good of myself. And he had me at Bucky's and getting a Bucky's in my town. Contact. Oh, oh man, we're doing it, Martin. Goblin, when do you leave? Saturday. Saturday. I don't want to oh, work there. Interesting. They got world. Why is records. that interesting? I just. I, everybody's going on vacation. That's it. Everybody's going on vacation. Not me. You going? No, but you 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 made one critical error. What's that? We're approaching the time of the Robertson family vacation. You don't ever take that week off because that's like a week off at home. <laughs> I did that. You know what? I remembered that the other day. I was like, dang. All the Robertsons are going to be gone. Yeah, you find out when they're leaving and you go the day after they get back. That's right. Hey. Mm. <laughs> tips to a family business, folks. It, I got brother. more of them for you. If, hey, you, know. if you need doing yeah. tips. If you need to know how to survive a family business when you got the wrong last name, 
<laughs> hit us in that inbox because we can help you. <laughs> My advice is go to a different business where you have the right last name. <laughs> And there's yeah. always there that back, there's always that backup. Plan. There's a backup plan because that's what our cameramen keep doing. Hey, they just keep going back to the family business. <laughs> they work for about two years, year two years, and then they go back to the family business. One of them's a youth preacher. One of them's about to be a farmer. So I like that. <laughs> um, so I went to Bucky's website, and they literally are trying to stop me from doing this. Uh-oh. It said, "Hey." Here's the fr- don't email us. Look at this instead. But are you sure you'd like to email us? Yes. And so you had to put your name in your email. And then it says, "Is this about new store openings?" Yes, absolutely. But if you click yes, it just shows you the new stores, and we're not oh. one of them. So people don't put yes, put no. Oh, now it's no, 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 no. no. Oh man, this is. Are you an employee? I no. I can't ask somebody to do this for me. Yeah, it's too much, people. You don't have to do it anymore. You don't have to anymore. They're giving him a run around. I mean, you have to answer 17 questions before you can get an email. That's right. Hmm. I'm going to find somebody that works there. Uh-oh. 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 Is this regarding real estate for a new Bucky's look? I found it. You found it, boys. Go. Okay, go to the website, ladies and gentlemen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th question, they're going to ask you, hit Yes. Downing Pines, West Monroe. It's genius. And then send that. That's what you need to do. Thank you for helping me on my mission. You just keep doing it until they actually get it here on Downing's Road. Sigh when you leave again. Uh, well, hey, I think me and Stone are heading to Sussie, Arkansas. What are you doing there? Like Wednesday evening. We're going up there for something. I don't know what it is right now. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Stone set this up. You going to Cersei? Yep. Cersei. I've been doing my best job to not ever go back to Cersei since I left <laughs> there. Hold on. What are you talking about? It's the most boring place on no, earth. No, it ain't. Oh, it's yes. It's one it of the most fantastic places. That's in not Cersei. That's outside oh, to no. the west or I don't east. Hear it. I'm just or talking. north. You go up there on Little Red River. That, that 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 river doesn't run through Cersei. Oh, yes, it does. Real close. You go up there and you go <laughs> Real down close. there and you catch all. Oh, we caught 250 trout in about two hours. Just yeah. ever cast. It don't matter. You're going to tell them to go somewhere else. Well, I ain't I'm tired of doing this. Well, I ain't. <laughs> I always do. He go catch about 75. Yeah, he nah, said, we need go. to move. Yeah, we need to move. Well, hey, I was after different type fish, too. We caught a few, you know, about 40. And I said, hey, let's go try some redfish. Well, that was a little harder to find. We didn't find them. You do it? But that's fishing. There you go. What'd y'all do at night? We tried rest fishing at night. Nothing. But the moon screwed us yeah. up. The moon screwed you yeah. up. Yeah. So the tide was coming in. How does that work? Uh, there's huh. something about the there's gravity. Something wrong with them guys yeah. standing on it. Yeah. Hey, something about it. Wasn't flowing right. <laughs> they they messed it up oh, when no, they landed. Oh, no, 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 no. That American bad. flag right, was, that was facing a us. fast current. <laughs> if it wasn't for that flag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wouldn't catch the wind. <laughs> but you got to think about that. The moon tells the tide when to come in and when to go out. It's gravity. Gravity, baby. Gravity, baby. Moon talk. Moon talk. You have to verify lunar, your email. The lunar phase. The lunar phase. That's right. The lunar phase. You know a lot about the moon. Hey. Is it no, made of cheese? No, it's made out of Swiss cheese. You think it's Swiss? Well, hey, there ain't no rats up there. Would you eat it? Uh, yeah. If the moon were made of cheese, would you yeah. eat it? Yeah, 100%. I'd eat it. Wow. It was, I mean, I'd cut like a big scoop of the dirty stuff. There's out. rats oh. everywhere else. Why ain't there rats on the moon? Same reason ain't no humans up there. Why? Or ever have been there. Why? Ain't no oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> ain't no oxygen? Oxygen. <laughs> hey. If it's made of cheese, there ought to be plenty of rats up there. I give up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to email Bucky. Oh, they do not make it He's easy to, to flood their email. <laughs> Somebody's tried this before and they stopped it. Yeah. They stopped it, boy. Yeah, they put 15 degrees of separation. In dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. But if you're that committed, maybe they'll actually look at it. That's what I need you for, people. Hey, what color <laughs> baits are you selling the most of? All of them. Green pumpkin. Mm-hmm. No one oh. color crappie bait? Can't tell nope. you. Nope, chartreuse. Why? 
Um, chartreuse. Yeah, chartreuse. Chartreuse, boys. Cajun glitter. No, Cajun cricket and glitter glitter. That's what I got in today. Those are the colors that are currently. I low key. Anybody catching any fish? I low key judge somebody fishes with Cajun cricket. There he is. If I go by their boat and I see that. I'm like, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Me and him, me and him can't be friends. <laughs> there's a lot of people. There's you a lot can't of be friends. I with know. Him. There's a lot of other options I'm gonna try before I get to him. He last resort, unless you somewhere else. You go over in muddy ponds. Ours ain't that muddy though. You don't need that. Mm. Oh well. Let's take our last break. We'll be back right after. Okay. All right, we're back. And we're back. Hello at duckcallroom.com is the email address. Y'all be sure to send us some stuff in. Send me some emails. Yeah. I sat out on my porch last night and read like 150 of them. I did not. Uh, just just so we're clear. Just a Sunday afternoon. Sunday Sunday afternoon. afternoon. It's an easy Sunday afternoon. Just Sunday afternoon. I saw pictures of people's deer, saw some fish. That's what's up. Mm. Got some questions. A lot of people looked up that thing where the dude punched that bull in the face and killed it. I had a buddy call me and say that can, in fact, happen. He saw his daddy do it. Hey. He, no. Hey. We can have him on here. I'm, I'm telling you. Good grief. Punched a bull. That's coming out of Caldwell Parish. That's where you from, son. Good grief. There you go. Punched hey. one. What are you going to do when one runs over you and get, you get back up knocking the dirt off of you and he tries to run over you again? You punch him in the face and kill him. You get up and dust punch the dirt him. off of you again. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do is get out of that circle no. I'm in. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, he punched him and knocked him down. Good grief. And, That's hey, a punch. And the bull did not get up. And then his wife come out and said, you just killed $20,000 worth of breeding bull. went from 50 down what? to 20. Hey, <laughs> what are we going to do? And he said, call the neighbors. We're fixing to have a barbecue party. We know. A little getting cheaper story. all the time. No, size stories change. Now. Well, you said well, he 50. said 50. Well, I, I didn't say 50. I said 25,000. Roll the tape. That's Can we literally pause tape. this and roll, roll two? Tape, boy, if boy. you're able to edit this, Mr. 20, editor, no, please go back to the last episode and no, insert no, him saying no. 50 and come back. You just paid something like $50,000 for that breeding bull. What are we going to do now? And we're back. I don't know what just happened. Um, what you got in there? All right, well, <laughs> I got two. I actually got two today. I told y'all one, but I got two because I just saw one that said Bucky's Ministry, and maybe y'all will talk about this on the show. Avery from Waller, Texas, home to the second biggest Bucky's until we get one. Whoa, whoa. Uh, she's a junior at Texas State University, uh, part of the Baptist Student Ministry, and she has two questions. She was wondering if we have any advice on how to spread the gospel to students on campus. Great question. And if we had three hundred dollar budget for Bucky's, what would y'all buy? It's a mm. lot of sandwiches. Mm. So let's start with uh, spreading the gospel on campus. I'm the wrong Sorry. guy to ask how to spread it in college because I was, <laughs> I was the antithesis of the gospel in college. Oh, okay. I can just go ahead. You don't think she should get a yeah. big piece of cardboard that says hey, "Listen to the Duck Call Room Podcast"? Hey, That's probably not going to work. Define uh, big word you use. Them uh, antithesis. Yeah, yeah. antithesis. And driving around in a car with Jesus saves on it, and you're going to hell. That probably ain't going to work either. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. You're living like the devil. But the BCM all. is a good place to start. I remember I would go there for like Friday lunches and stuff. You get them for super cheap. I love the, the Warhawks for Christ. Them dudes gave you a dollar lunch on Friday. Yeah. If like, you serve people cheap food in college. And during the Lent, you got the fish fry. They will come through the door. Mm -hmm. You go to the you Catholic them, people during come. Lent and eat fish on Friday. You feed them, get them in the door, tell them about Jesus, and they should see something different in you anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, that's my best advice. Yeah, the my best. Yeah, I'm with you. The best advice I can give you is live it. Live it and feed them. Yeah, live oh, it. Yeah, me. Yeah, just live it. Watch talk, it. Talk to talk and walk the walk. Yeah. All right, and on to our second question. Now, three hundred dollars at Bucky's. Go. What are you gonna buy? Three hundred dollars at Bucky's. At All right. Bucky's. The biggest bag of Dodge pretzels I got. Biggest one. That's biggest pretty one. expensive. I'm gonna go to that uh, the small batch candy deal and oh, get me yeah. some yeah. either chocolate covered pecans or almonds uh -oh. one, one of the two yeah, you got so much more time yeah uh I, 
I'm just going to go, if I got 300 that I just burned the hole in my pocket, I'm going to start on one end of that sandwich dispensary and get to the other one. That's right. The sausage you know, is good. The brisket is good. Real. I'm going to get 10 bags of beef jerky. Uh-oh. Too. And then whatever I got left over, I'm going to go to that and beef I jerky might, and try the exotic ones. I wow. might get a really weird swimsuit and tank top just in case. <laughs> Yeah, it just because I got three hundred. I got a lot of little Bucky's beavers too, the little stuffed ones when they change them. Oh yeah, change I got, them out. I got my I got kids several of them. Want those every time? Yeah, I love that place. It is a good three hundred dollars. Anything else? Uh, if you're Willie Robertson, you come out there with a fire pit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that costs three hundred or not. Willie Roberts, if he was in here and you had, th- he'd be like, "No, you got to up that budget. We're going to we're going to Bucky's." Yeah, yeah. yeah you back Bucky's. up to the front door and they'll load it with a forklift. <laughs> Right. I mean, so anything we're missing? Got everything. It's a everything. I would get gas. Well, actually, now thanks to other stuff, you can only get gas for three hundred dollars, and then you're out. And you still ain't full. And you just, ah, uh, let's uh, not go down that road. That. Next wow. email from Alexander. I like this email because the the sub the subject lines get me. Um, this one's subject line is "What's the wise thing to do." And I like a man who's asking others for wisdom. Like, that's, that is wisdom, to ask others yeah. for wisdom. And you can't spell wisdom without S-I. Backwards. It's Chase from Florence, Alabama. He's 28. Um, he's been thinking about dropping a line to us for a while. Likes us. Thinks we're good. we do good stuff, so I appreciate that. He's currently living at a halfway house in Tuscaloosa. And he's graduated from the program, so it's time for him to move on. He's got a good job in Tuscaloosa and could possibly stay there, but he's not really financially stable. Don't really know anyone in Tuscaloosa, and uh, it's been hard for him to step out of his comfort zone. He's been here a whole, there a whole year, uh, doesn't have many friends, so he's been thinking about moving back to Florence, Alabama, where he has some family, but I'd have to stay with my mom or grandma for a while to save some money. Yeah. Wisdom. What should he do? What do you, what do we, th- not what should he do? What's some advice we can give him on what to do? Well, I don't know. I'd get out of Tuscaloosa in a heartbeat. <laughs> I don't That's, know. They do have that Dreamland barbecue there. It's pretty solid. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to, I, I, I don't know, because I don't know what ended up, ended up in, in the halfway house. That's true. Yeah. You know. So if going home is going to, expose you to the world that got you to where you're at in tuscaloosa don't don't, don't recommend do going back yeah, there don't do it if tuscaloosa is what got you into where you're at right now then you probably do you graduate the program but it probably is time to get the heck out of there yeah so there's a lot of unknowns there uh and remove I would, yourself as far as you can from the temptation of that old life because even though you've graduated it's still gonna come calling and if you make it easy to get back on you it's coming back so um Proud of you for sticking it yeah, out. Yeah, I, I wanted to Super read that. Super proud so of So I wanted to say way to go. Yeah, um, absolutely. That's awesome. For for sticking it out and doing your thing, uh, doing your commitment to whatever got you to where you're at. But if that looks like moving back in with your parents, I would say if you're doing it to save money, I think you're doing it, to save the, you're doing it for the wrong reason. If you move back in with them, pay them rent. Pay up, start building yourself financially up to learn what a budget is. Put yourself on, even if you're giving your mom $200 a month to live at her yeah, house. Yeah, she's like, going to give start, you a good deal. Start back by figuring out what that money looks like. Because if you just go and save a bunch of money, you slap a bunch on a down payment, then all of a sudden you don't know how to manage your finances. So start managing your finances, even if you do move back in at home. By paying them rent, paying for groceries, doing doing all the right things. I mean, they're going to give you an aggressive rate, but you you know where to go, and if home is the right place to go, then go there. But if it's what got you in trouble in the first place, stay away from it. So there's, it's a lot. It's easier to fall back into them traps than than you think. So yeah, I like um, that, Martin. Um, that, that's and, my advice. And I would say don't. I I I like a man who asks for wisdom. That's yeah. wise. Um, but don't be like, don't look at that moving back in your mom and grandma's as like a, uh, a not bad a step thing. back. It, if it's to help you get on your feet, great. And I love what Martin said about paying rent and just, pre- it's going to be a good rate learn. And that way you can get back to where you, you are financially stable and you're used to paying some rent. And then once you get built up, you can find and get a new job and make more money. 
you can move into your own place and own apartment. Yeah. Don't take a good job for granted right now, though. Yeah. I don't think you can move somewhere else and find one. So it's if you need to stick it out in Tuscaloosa, stick it out there. It's just, yeah, you know, they, they, pray they, about it, man. Pray, a lot of wisdom comes from um, from not much talking and a lot of listening. Mm-hmm. So, um, Si, you got anything before we? Well, I don't know if, if the friends you had got you into this. But surround your yourself with people, you know, that that are looking to do good things. Amen. Get plugged in somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Find a find a church and go there and and you know, start running with, with God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you'll be better off. Godwin, Godwin anything? Godwin having spent some time in a halfway house. Can you no I'm kidding. He hasn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I say like, I'm gonna learn something. No, new. I'm just kidding. No, that's good. Uh, I'd say that plugging in—that's a big thing. Yeah, we've actually here had several yeah. um, halfway house people work for us through the years. There's been people that have come and gone, and yeah, they were they were good. But you know, we were we were certain to sharpen them while they were here too, support mm-hmm. them and and help them. So find you find you a fostering, nurturing place wherever that may be yep hold so. yourself accountable absolutely mm-hmm. well thanks for the email chase i'm gonna send us out of here with a bible verse uh that kind of had what martin said in mind about whatever got you into that situation get out of that yeah. um you're a new man so ephesians 4 22 through 24 you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on your new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. When you become a Christian, you're a new creation. Life should look pretty much different than it was before. So thanks for listening, everybody. Amen. We'll see you all next time right here.